Alright y'all, it's 11 o'clock. Gonna go get some lunch or breakfast. Count down to this dope battle. Cause look at this view, man. It's going down. Cali view. Beautiful, man. Palm trees. It's crazy, man. A lot of people sleeping on the homie right. They don't think right finna pull this off. Yo, bro, you not puzzled by, like, like, what people, like, don't giving you a shot? Um, no. Because this is a big narrative painter from what we've seen, you know, this morning on A Few Lives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, no, it's because, and the reason why I, slight, like, I say that is because it's always kind of been like that with me. No matter what, like... No matter how much I've been killing shit or what I've been doing, I'll battle somebody that's coming back or has been in the field and they'll be like, oh, it's still gonna be a dope battle. It's gonna be close. So he might win, he might ride, might lose, or this nigga might beat him. I just think I ain't even been in the flight, you know? So it's, it's, I've always kind of been like, had the underdog vibe on me. I've always had the slept on crease. But like, you know, but, but it's, at the same time though, it's like niggas do know like what I can do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But on the real, I feel, yeah, they, uh, they, they I don't know. <laughs> it does kind of, it does kind of blow my mind sometimes still, you know, like, yeah, like they still be doubting me. They still, uh, sleeping on me. They still think, yeah, because ain't nobody really saying that I'm going to win. Nobody really saying that I'm going to do my shit. But niggas is definitely saying me are gonna win. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why though. I don't know. Now what is this plaza called? Uh Lisa Viejo Town Center. Oh, okay. For those that don't understand. Aliso Viejo. Past uh Irvine. Kinda so Irvine is where the Harley Davidson session. This this spot right here where we're at right here is probably like ten minutes away from the Harley Davidson session. So yeah, we got Chick-fil-A. Del Taco, have it. What you feeling like, bro? I'm not doing it, any one of these. It don't even matter. I'm like, trying to whatever. see if that Raisin Cane's is open so you can try that Raisin Cane. Yeah, yeah, we can try that. I'm going to see if it's open. Now, what time you guys' restaurants here usually open? Um, Depends. Some of them will be early. But I think that's what I'm like, thinking. I think this Raisin Cane's might be open up at like a little bit later. What time are we at now? Like 10? Oh, okay. I thought it was 11. That says 10. Yeah, this, oh, that's, your, your hour ahead? That one's an hour ahead for some reason. I just haven't collected it. I mean, yeah, the Canes is Chick-fil-A right there. Um, is Canes open? No. I don't even let like nobody. Here, let me tap back in with them. So, because I can't even hear Watch them. yourself. You have a red light, you fool. Red light, red stop sign. You have a stop sign. Oh, that shit is out. Does it look like it's over? Yeah, you can see somebody right there in this white car. Let's see. Damn, man, they got so much shit you can eat outside. Everything. Big chill, bro. It's like, it just how, like how, how in and out was. Very simple. Literally just chicken crease. Just chicken crease. Just like how in and out was like super simple. I think it is open too. You should definitely try it. We hit it with nobody. Let me get started for you. Hi, right, uh, what'd you want, bro? Yeah, let me get the, um. Sorry? Hold on one second, please. Just looking. Okay. The three, uh, finger combo. Okay. With the bread. Yeah, yeah. And I'll take some of that sauce, whatever that sauce Yeah, it all is. comes with it. All comes oh, okay. With it. Yeah. And then what kind of drink? Uh, uh, the sweet tea. All right. Can I get uh, a number three with a sweet tea? Okay, three for a pound with sweet tea. And then another number three with a root beer, easy ice. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. Three for a pound with a sweet tea, and another three for a pound with a root beer. So I'm gonna come back to the 1873 second one, though. Thank you. All right, thank you. Somebody, somebody, somebody.
<laughs> so you don't eat special meals before a battle like this, bro? Or you just um, kind of like this vibe out? I just kind of just smoke, really, chill. Really vibe out. Usually in a lot like performing, battle wise, I don't really have an appetite. I have to kind of like just snack. Like right now, like I got, I got that meal. I'll probably just snack on it because I don't have no appetite. I really don't be. I'm not really hungry for it. But, and like I get be on the. Uh... Here you go. But uh, what's it called? Yeah, I don't. It's weird. I don't really get like a super appetite. I don't get no. Yeah, but I do eat. It's just not. Here's the sweet tea. I've always been that way. Yeah. I never. I don't. I don't get. I don't know why. But even when I'm performing, like my music, like I have a show that night, and I really won't really eat that much. I'll eat, but I just. Thank you. Thank you. Now is that just cause like the, the anxiousness or like that just make you how you relax, perform better? I guess. You know what I mean? I think that's just kinda of just how I am. Like like I'm kinda of like focused, my, my blood's kinda of going, you know what I mean? I'm I'm amped, I'm anxious. So I think that's kind of a mix of, of what it is. Thank you're welcome, have a good one. No worries. I think that that's what it is, like a mix of anxiousness Thank you, bro. and and you know, wanting to get off, wanting to get out there. Right. Finally the time's here, you know what I mean? I, I feel that, yeah, I feel that's kind of, kind of decreased, but I'm on with it.